Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with the kickoff for my third annual Fall Bath and Body Works Use It Up Challenge. I can't believe it. So uh, two years ago, back in 2020, when I first started these, I kind of started my fall challenge on a whim. Like I was just kind of bored and wanted something else to do my channel. But I feel like now it's just really, just really become a mainstay. And I really enjoy documenting this. And I know a number of you guys really enjoy watching them too. So like I said, can't believe it, but this is my third annual fall use it up challenge. This time it's for 2022. I'm so excited to share what I have in my challenge. So let's jump right in and get started. So I'm gonna start up here with my soap. So something I mentioned in my last round of Bath & Body Works collection videos was that I'm good at using up soaps in the moment, like for the season, but I am kind of neglecting soaps I have in my back stock. So I made a goal to, for the, at least the fall and the winter, to pull five soaps from my backstop and back stock and incorporate them into my challenges. So um, what I have for soaps is the apple of my eye, green apple or green caramel apple, a champagne apple and honey. One of the ones from my backstop was what's this scoop? That's cherry vanilla float. I have, I only have pies for you, coconut pumpkin latte. Another one from my stock is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I have a cozy vanilla cream, crisp apples from my collection. Raspberry green tea was a fantastic fragrance and I love it. I'm so excited to use that up. Wild berry and plum, wild lavender mint. Two more from my back stock. I have a pink apple punch and I only have pies for you. This one is fresh strawberry tart. I have a black cherry Merlot and a white coconut caramel. That's 15 soaps. I really don't know if I'll pull that off, but I really enjoy fall soap. So I want to just, just kind of include it in my challenge and I'll see how I go. For my shower gels, I have a black raspberry vanilla, autumn drive, midnight pomegranate, country apple, bourbon strawberry vanilla is my love. I adore that scent. Next brand new, I have pineapple lime eucalyptus, Poolside Coconut Colada, Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, Bubblegum Pop from the semi-annual sale. I have a strawberry soda from this year's semi-annual sale. And get a load of these. I have two vintage shower gels, one in caramel apricot. Uh, actually, no, that's uh, salted caramel apricot and marshmallow pumpkin latte. For full-size fine fragrance mist, I have a wild strawberry, which is just a repackage of bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, midnight pomegranate. I love that for the fall. It's like a, it's like an icon in my Bath and Body Works experience. Black raspberry vanilla, also love it for the fall. Lotions, bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, and black raspberry vanilla, and then a midnight pomegranate and a full-size cream. Um, another vintage piece I have is Sun Crisp Apple Harvest. I always talk about how that is the best uh, body care apple that Bath & Body Works has ever done. I'm so glad to have one more. A champagne apple and honey. Other minis, I have a poppy shower gel in sun crisp apple and harvest lotion. I usually don't go through six pocket bags in a challenge, but I wanted to include these six because they're the last six of my entire Bath & Body Works collection. So after these six, I have literally no more pocket bags. So I have a strawberry pound cake that's a holdover from my summer challenge. Uh, two rose water and ivies, a pineapple prosecco, and two blueberry crumble. And then finally down here, I just have a couple other randoms. So I have a uh, shea sugar scrub from uh, from aromatherapy in lavender and vanilla. Two from Tree Hut in watermelon and Moroccan rose. And I do have one item from the body shop. This is just a shower gel and fresh raspberry. So this is the first collection or the first challenge where I don't have like a nice round number. This is 47 items. So I just kind of have struggled with, um, I wouldn't say like having enough items, but just coming up with a nice round number, like 40 or 45 or 50 to incorporate into my challenges. So I did want to go ahead and pull all six of my pocket bags just because, you know, those are the last six that I have. But I also just really love my minis and my, uh, my vintage shower gels. So even though you guys know, if you've been with my channel for a while, that I'm really not a fall person, like pumpkin spice is totally not my thing. There are so many other fall scents that I really, really love. So I'm so excited about my fall challenge. I hope you guys will join me. So I will update you all um, on October 1st, on November 1st, and either Black Friday or uh, November 30th, I'm not quite sure yet. 
but those will be the dates where I do my updates for you and I'll show you how I have gone with my 47 items for fall. So as always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on the Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron, especially if you love Bath and Body Works, um, fashion, things that are funny, whatever. It's a great, um, at least in my opinion, a, a great profile to follow. So yeah, um, I hope that you all will stick around, especially if you love Bath and Body Works stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.